Hello YouTube. Let's crack open a few Hot Wheels. I've had these sitting around for a while. First up, let's crack open this Harley Davidson. I don't have one of their Harleys cracked open. This ain't a bad reputation of a Harley besides it's not 164th. I don't even think it's 154th. I think it's bigger than that. 154th would be skill. It's like a Jada. It's really heavy. It stands up on its own. It says Harley Davidson Fat Boy. One of these probably looked pretty good, completely detailed out. Happened to have a Jada here. So, a little bit closer to scale, but it's probably still maybe one of the pullback cars. What are, what scale are them? 136 or something? 144th maybe. Still ha happy to have it uh, in the loose Hot Wheels collection. Next we got a 1971 Dodge Challenger from the Hot Wheels Workshop. Two thousand thirteen. Looks pretty cool in this color. So, of course, I had to crack it open. I think Green Light has one that's real close to that. Next, we have a from the Taxi Rods 1955 Chevy Bel Air. Looks really good. With all them racing. Liveries all over it and deco and stickers. Next, we have a Ferrari Testarossa card number 35. This is from 1991, it's pretty old. The card was really beat up. And I do have one of these on a mint card, so. Pretty cool metallic black. Of course, the tan interior shows through to the front and the back. But the seats and stuff are black. I think if you take one of these apart, it has a two-piece interior. And they did have this in a wheel variation. Because when I looked at my carded cars, I had two uh, wheel variations of it. I might have had three wheel variations. I know for sure I had two. Next is a uh, Toyota. 2000 GT in yellow. 2013 Hot Wheels Workshop.
and then I have an, the color variation. No, it might not be. This is a Hot Wheels showroom Toyota 2000 GT. So this is from 2012, the year before that. I'm sorry, I believe that was seven years ago. They probably have released this in a ton of color variations. Like it in this red. And then I happen to have this one. I was looking to see if I had either of them ones loose yet. So these might be my three variations I have. This is definitely my favorite. It's like a gunmetal gray almost. I know it looks black on the camera. It really is like a gunmetal gray. And it's the same livery as this one, so it must be a color variation of it, I assume. And the next one is a Hall of Fames. I've been wanting to crack this open for a really long time. Uh, this is from 2002, it looks like. This card was pretty hammered. And this car looks way better out of the blister. Really awesome detail. That's real rider tires. Happy to have that in the loose Ferrari collection. This blister was all discolored and it had cracks in it. And there's a card that comes with it. Pretty sure this is based on a real car. It's back of it if you wanted to. Pause on that and read it. Might hang on to that card. I don't hang on to all of them, but in the last one it is uh, Johnny Lightning from the Classic Gold. I've been wanting to crack this one for a long time. So it looks like you cut it down to one side. I don't know if I have. Oh, I wish I had scissors. I don't see any out. <clears throat> well, it looks like a protecto. You can put it back in. It's pretty neat. But you cut it down that side. And then it folds open. It's hinged on that side. And the top and bottom weren't crimped. So that's pretty cool. You can put it back on a card if you wanted. Really heavy casting. And this is a 69 Dodge Daytona Charger. Man, does it look good in the black, the red. Gonna have to do a video one day on all these that I have. Wish Auto Rolled would do this casting. The hood shuts nice. Got hood pins. The detail on these Johnny Lightnings is unreal. The classic gold. They have the base all detailed out. It's not like an Ertl where it's all separate pieces. That's all painted detail. 
but it looks amazing. So that's all I got to show you today. Some old Hot Wheels I had sitting around waiting to crack open. Let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know what uh, variations I'm missing of the S2000. Thanks for watching.